everybody. We are here at Not Another Hat in Hood River, Oregon with Miss Jill. Everybody say hi, Jill. Hi, everybody. Jill, as most of you know, is the glue that holds this ship together. And she is here to talk about the Coco Knits Sweater Care Kit and the Coco Knits Blocking Kits. She was one of the very first people to get the Sweater Care Kit here in the store. And this kit is a miracle worker for blocking your knits. She's gonna tell us all about it. And I'm super excited because if you can believe it, I don't even have this kit myself. <laughs> of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so Jill is gonna walk us through how she blocks sweaters using her Coco Knits products, um, starting with right, pretty much right out of the wash, right? Right, I've got my sweater right here that I just finished, the Botanical Tea using the Madeline Tosh wool cotton. So she's pretty damp right now. She just came out of the wash this morning. So first thing I do is I take this real nice microfiber towel that comes in your sweater care kit. I kind of roll her up in here. So super absorbent towel? Super absorbent. Wow. This gets so much of the water out. Oh, I need that for sure. So I kind of roll it up and then I come down, I give it a little. <laughs> a little body weight? A little body weight, <laughs> get as much of that water out as you can. This towel is amazing. How, really, it's almost like halfway dry when you get done with this. No kidding. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it up here. I have my Coco Knits blocking squares here, which are also amazing. Very nice, so those interlock. Little puzzle pieces, so if you have a hat, you can use one, you can lay you know, several out and do scarves. But this is great, you can put these on, your, on a bed, that's where I usually do it, on a bed in the spare room. And then I'm gonna roll it out here. See, now she's just, she's just damp now. Wow. So it's not really, really wet. For those of you who um, knit Fia, I was afraid that was going to take like five days to dry in my drafty house. But with this process, it literally took about 36 hours. That's and my incredible. Sweater was dry. If you're not familiar, Fiat is a heavily cabled Aaron White sweater. So that's saying something that it dried that fast in the winter or the late spring. Yeah, it was winter. It was yeah, um, late, er, yeah, late winter, early spring. Here in damp Oregon. So then this, this, is, so this is my first process. Beautiful. I'm going to come and zoom in here. And if Very I'm pinning, nice. If I'm pinning, this one I don't really think needs much pinning. You get this great um, microfiber towel with the squares on oh, it here. Oh, right. So this is great. So this is, you can put this right on top of your squares and then you can pin right into this and get your, your garment all oh, pinned out. Oh, that's very helpful. So then what I do is I leave it on this. I usually try to wash my items in the morning, usually around nine or 10 o'clock. And then about, oh, two, two thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon, I'll go up to my spare room and I'm gonna pull it off of here. And I'm gonna take this. This is the- The real magic? The real magic. And this comes in the kit. It comes in the kit. It is all spiraled up like one of those car things. Right, like a window protector like a thing? window protector, exactly. Oh! Hard to get back into the show Oh! <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. Do you have to be a magician? You have to be a magician. <laughs> I got it semi put back in. But this, I, I just kind of leave it like this and I just stick it behind the bed in my craft room. Nice, okay. So now I'm gonna take the straps here and clip oh, they, them into place. Look at that. And this is gonna let air underneath <gasps> it. Oh, oh look. This wow. Is, this was a game changer for me with blocking. Because with my house, I was always afraid things were almost gonna get moldy. They took so long to dry. Look at how that just lifts it right lifts up. Lifts it right off. It can get air underneath. Air can go down underneath. Oh, wow. I mean, it's amazing. So then I'll leave it on this usually until the next morning. And then when I come in the next morning, literally it's almost dry. And then if you need to do any final, you know, pinning to, to block it out, then I would put it back on my board. And just check all your measurements. And just and check stuff. all your measurements and then leave it on there for another like six or eight hours and it is going to be dry and beautiful. It wow. is amazing. Wow. These kids come jam packed with stuff. Do you want to show us what's inside? Show, okay. okay. So, so this is the, um, I've been using these probably, we think we got these about eight. I think since they debuted. They yeah. used to come in like an orange plastic bag and I believe you only got 12 in the original kits. These ones you get two, four, six. I think you get 18 in here. Oh, plenty, plenty to put together either like a couple of different projects or a really large project. Oh yeah. Goes into this nice bag that you have here, nice canvas bag. 
Once again, you get a little gridded cloth here. A little These one by one. Little one by one square. So okay. you can put this right on top of your squares. And it also comes with T pins. For oh, walking. perfect. You always get some little bonuses in your kits mm -hmm. here. These are so well worth the money. Yes. I can't tell you. I do have this at home, and I have moved over to this from my big blocking board just because. It's so malleable. You can make any shape you need. Any shape. And I can tuck my tape measure in one side and the whole thing, I can just grab it by the handles. Yes. If I want to block downstairs where the sun's coming in, I can just go down there. Take the whole bag with you. Very nice. So yes. awesome. Yes. Okay. And, and so here, then the sweater care kit. Sweater care kit. Where the magic happens. Where the magic happens <laughs> comes with your, your gridded microfiber towel, your regular microfiber towel, you get your handy dandy, I don't know what they call this, pop-up dryer. Pop-up dryer. Pop-up dryer. And you also get these two nice mesh bags, a large one oh, and a small one. Oh, laundry so bag. These are awesome. If you were going to put it in the dryer, I mean in the washing machine, sometimes I will spin it um, on the delicate cycle in my washing machine. And if you put it in one of these bags, it makes, that, I tend to not weave my ends in until the very end, so <laughs> your ends all. So everything stays nice and contained. So you've got a- Yeah, then you don't have sleeves like stretching out stretching around the barrel out. of exactly, your machine or something. Exactly. Yes. So the, the medium one I use for like hats and cowls and scarves and stuff, and then the large ones fit, I'd be able, Fia didn't fit in here, but most of my other sweaters have fit in the big one. Very nice. And then you also get a bottle of the unscented eucalyptus, oh, which is perfect. one of my favorites. Rinse-free fiber Rinse -free wash. Rinse-free fiber wash. And once again, everything fits back in your bag. Although, like I said, this I just I keep out. <laughs> I just didn't want to put that back in again. I don't even think I've ever had to wash these. I mean, yeah. really, you're just using Soaking them, up water. Soaking up water, exactly. So I just fold them back up again and put them back in my bag. So... The next time I need it, everything is right there for me. Beautiful. This, I am definitely getting one of these today because the between the microfiber towel and the pop-up dryer, why would you spend four days letting something and dry again? it's so again? worth the money. Like I said, it's an, it's an investment and blocking is such an important pro, you know, part of your, yes. your sweater knitting. If you don't block your sweater properly, it, it's just... It's not a sweater. It's not the stuff. same. It's yes. not the same. I, yes. I was never a blocker until I started working at Not Another Aww. Hat. I have learned so many things. And now sometimes even people come to me and have me block their this items is true. for them. I can attest to that. See? Yes. <laughs> yes. Jill is highly requested. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jill. We so love getting your input on the products that we sell because you and I, but you especially use them you can speak from authority. So, exactly. all right. Thanks for Thank joining you. us, everyone. We'll bye see bye. you next time.